Hello my lovely Sagittarius, welcome to this reading, my name is Mia and welcome to this channel. Wow, the cards are super chatty already, look we have the house and we have the high honour. I have to keep them out because they're already jumping out. This is weekly reading for April 10th, 3rd to 16th, 2023. Now if this doesn't resonate with you, that's absolutely fine. If this is your sun sign, check out your moon and rising, there could be a message for you there. Okay. Usually those calculators are free of charge to do online now what are we having here today i want to see what's going on with you what kind of themes what kind of energies are surrounding you okay we have the house and a high honor okay for some of you guys you are trying to find your feet okay maybe you're looking for bigger better job that contains a status okay bigger status bigger, better status not just money but it kind of like more stability OK, maybe someone some of you are going into politics or going into um, public speaking or some sort as well. OK, and that takes a lot of coverage that takes a lot of standards and qualifications and an experience and and yeah, confidence. All right, Sagittarius. And I have I have to say you have a bucket. OK, I have a sense here for some guys that maybe you are spending um You've been spending a lot of time indoors or in the house or felt like maybe you are studying, maybe you're preparing, but there's a lot of kind of closure. OK, I feel like four walls around you constantly. OK, and I understand it could be the weather or whatever the reason you're spending there, but it's just it's, it's important to be outside as well. But I'm not here to judge you. Not at all. However, the house means is a stability. There is something as well in the house that's going on, uh, maybe in your family, in your very private. You feel like you want to keep these things very private at the moment. There is no, even though maybe you want to go for public speaker, but until it happens, it feels like you, what happens in the house stays in the house. That's how I feel right now. And maybe you, some of you are going through some time where maybe you're divorcing someone or you want to split with someone, but you do not want to know everyone. OK, and that could be a case as well for some guys. It feels like you want to keep it not just a hush hush, but it's like you're very you're very proud. At the same time, there could be great news happening. May you may be moving to the better place, but whatever is going on in your life at the moment, it feels like you want to keep under wrap. Like just keep it quiet for a little bit, and that's how it feels. Okay, I'm not here to judge either. That's right or wrong, but it's just oh, I always say that security is very important if there's something that is um involving money and and of course where you live and so but it feels like even the closest people you do not want to let something is going in your life which you feel like you need to keep to yourself mm, i'm really intrigued what's going on what is going on that is a beautiful home i really feel like some of you guys are planning to level up but maybe this is some sort of area or niche that is not typical okay we have a dog and we have a locket and we have a journal underneath. So yeah, I feel, guys, you are some of you are really working hard on something that's close to your chest, okay? And look at the dog. He's absolutely adorable. There's a lot of um the trust issue. It could be that you are not really trusting um people that surround you or you had bad experience before, okay? You keeping your keeping your thoughts and your emotions close to your chest. It doesn't have to be just relationship wise, but it's just something that um, you're not sure. You've been bitten before and you feel like, you know what, I'll do it my way. I'll do it my way. Hmm. Um, a little bit kind of, a little bit sad energy here. I feel a bit sad. You would, you would prefer to do it different. You would prefer the situation was different. But it is what it is. I feel it here. You, some of you guys, you might be put in a position where you are have to deal with situation that is rather delicate. That's it, delicate situation that needs to be dealt in diplomatic way. Wow, what is that about? Alrighty, Sag, let's have a look what we have for you for this week. No, that's not that. We have nine of wands. Okay. Nine of wands, seven of cups, two of pentacles, eight of pentacles, three of wands. Right. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I feel, guys, that you want to change something. Either this is... Maybe you want to sell a house. And you don't want anyone to know about it. Maybe you want to move it. And you just don't want anyone to know. And it's some sort of sentiment. There's some sort of sentiment. Could be your family home. Could be your family in you know, the village where you lived up or city or so there's a lot of attachment to that okay there's a lot of attachment to that however three ones you're kind of planning to move away and you're working on it okay and uh, it might not be easy but you're really trying to figure things out and, and maybe you work full-time working and looking for the other place maybe you're looking for other job as well here you're juggling something here it kind of like um yeah, there's some offers. I can see there's some offers coming your way. And even though it feels all great that the offers are there, you feel like um, a little bit um, set back a bit. You're not completely sold, but it could be you are in a position where you are not. You don't have an option as such to not to go. It feels like it could be as well that this opportunity is feels like once in a lifetime. Okay. But there could be some attachment. You have some sort of attachment. Either this is a place or you could be leaving a people or friends or family. Okay. And you have a lot of kind of inner, um, inner not conflict, but com yeah, conversations going. And now once you're trying your best to kind of get this under the wraps. Okay. But it feels like this could be actually solving you a lot of you know, problems and issues that you have currently in your life. Okay. This move could actually be really good, but it, it might have been that even though you want changes, it's a question whether you want to change because that move will definitely involve a lot of new, could be new um, job, new place, new people, you know, a lot's on your, on your own mistake at the moment. And it could be a little bit one too many things that you are feeling it right now. Okay, yes, you are close. You're holding cards close to your chest here. And it is something to do with actual items, other purchase, selling house, actual like material stuff and or work or money, right? Because look how this person here is like, he's kind of looking, look, it all goes great, but am I going the right direction? Okay. It's nothing is bad, nothing's bad happened, but where I'm going, okay, five of cups. And it feels like you might feel okay. Oh, interesting. We have two six sentiments. See? I kind of saw a second time, I couldn't ignore it. We have two six of cups. There is just some sort of sentiment regarding the locket or and the dog. Sentiment to the place, sentiment to the... What are you sad about? You want more money. You want better conditions. You want better. You want more. And it's nothing wrong with that. Okay? And that's, you feel like, you know, maybe current place, the work, or even could be a relationship even, doesn't offer you what you want. And you feel like you've got to think about this. And you're kind of feel, thinking as well how to do it practically. You know, one thing is like, yeah, I'm going to leave and I'm just off, you know. Now you're really concerned and really thinking so everyone's happy, you know. Uh, you're really kind of wanting to, that everyone comes out of this happy. But that might be the case, okay. That might not be the case. Hence, you are feeling a little bit of a apprehensive and sad. And the Five of Cups is kind of saying, look, there is a bright side, but there is going to be something that you are going to have to put behind because the cups are spilled. Nothing you can do about that. OK, there could have been some drama happening in your life, you know, emotionally that you felt a little bit drained. But if you turn around, there's another two cups. So there is more options than you think. There's more opportunity, but you will have to learn how to put past behind for you in order to move forward. However... It feels like that the offers are there as long as you feel this right. Let's see what else we have for you, for you. Such, such, such. Why I'm saying twice, twice, twice. Four pentacles. Hmm. Oh, God. Okay. I feel, so, guys, maybe you've been involved in area or living in a place that is not safe no more. 
that could be for some of you guys that could be a situation as well where you are like you don't really want to leave or you don't want to change this but you are kind of forced to you're making decision and you have to make kind of quite sharp and and it will probably be a decision that everyone will approve but you have to stick to your guns two swords you have to go with your heart ten swords nine of pentacles okay You have to make decision in order to keep the income, to keep stability and keep your probably family even safe. And for some it's more actual safe safety net or it's financial safety net. And that is some sort of some sort of change is coming. Doesn't maybe have to be as per move or um change physical, but it could be some changes in your life. And there's some endings coming. There will be some closure, definitely. And it feels like you are kind of come on top as well. Nine of Pentacles is definitely a gratitude, okay? This is a card of, yeah, a gratitude is attitude. But this is definitely a card of um, finding the way how to get more money, how to make things better and how to improve your life. But it will come at a price. It will come at a price. Right. That's all I have for you, my lovelies. Have a blessed week. Thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, okay? And I'll see you in the next reading. Take care, Ta-da.